So one thing I've noticed is that smartphones are getting a really bad rep, especially among college students, as just a mere distraction. And I don't think that should be the case. I think that smartphones can help college students stay both more organized and more productive. So here are my top five apps for smartphones for college students. So the first and probably most overlooked app on my list is the stock Google Calendar widget, which I have here. And I absolutely love it. It's incredibly simple, but it's also incredibly useful. Um, I can load a lot of information into this really small widget. Um, so let's say I'm having a conversation with somebody. They go, hey Jay, are you free tomorrow at uh, 2 o'clock? And I can easily check my 2 o'clock tomorrow. No, I am actually not available. However, I'll be free, let's see, all of Saturday and Sunday uh, before 7 o'clock. Um, once again, you can have two lines, so this has your time and you can write a description. So I can write a location of where I'm at. So this is incredibly good if you have lots of meetings, if you have lots of um, planned events or classes. So like first week classes, you can write um, all your times and your um, locations right here. And if I want to check out my weekly view, I can just click on the app and view my entire week from here. So with the widget view, I can just wake up every morning and just drag down right here and see exactly what I'm doing today, um, what's important, what's not. And with one click, if I want more information, I can write details here, I can have reminders. Most importantly, this syncs up perfectly with my Google calendars on my laptop. So no matter where I am or what device I'm using, I can easily check what I'm doing that day and make new updates. So the second app is my all-time favorite productivity task list, which is Astrid Tasks. This is how it looks in its icon form and this is its widget form. The reason I prefer this to most of its competitors, including AnyDo and Wonderlist, is this widget itself. It's very clear, it's simple, and it, you can add new tasks straight from the widget. So in Wonderlist, you can see what you have to do, but in order to add something new, you have to go into the app to add something. So here, I can just add a task from my main screen, or even more conveniently, I can use Google Voice to say, edit video later. And this will make a new task for me. If I go into the app, I can move the order around, I can change priorities, I can set a due date. So let's say I want to edit it by tomorrow. Um, okay, and it's due tomorrow. I can open multiple lists, so I can have one for homework, one for IOUs, one for my shopping. So straight from the home screen, I can just easily check them right off. And most importantly, this syncs up absolutely perfectly with the Astrid on my Google Chrome extensions. So my next app is a great app for gathering little tidbits of information. And this is a new one by Google called Google Keep. Um, so let's say I'm walking down the hall and I hear that uh, there's free donuts in room 100 later. I can add a note right here. Um, and it's all color coordinated, which I think is really cool. It's almost like sticky notes, if you will. And it's on here. Or I can add a voice note. Free donuts in room 100 later. And this also keeps my voice, so. Free donuts in room 100 later. Um, so yeah, I can say something like this, go back. And if I don't want something, I can easily just throw it away. This also works for taking picture notes. So if I use my camera, take a picture of myself right now, and save that as a note. Most importantly, all these notes get synced to my Google Keep account on my Chrome extension, which keeps all my notes all together. So this brings me to my fourth app. If you are in college and you are not already using this, please start using it. This is Evernote. Let's say I'm in line and I have nothing to do and I don't have a exam till let's say next week. I probably wouldn't go into the trouble of opening my backpack, pulling out my laptop, or going through my notebook to, you know, look through my notes. However, when I have Evernote on me, I can easily go into my notebooks, right? 
let's say I'm just I just have my slate class right that I took notes for I can open up my notes and just start reading notes from here so let's say I want to read about emotions um, I can also let's say I hear something new I can make a uh, change right through the app save that syncs that through my devices um, if you've watched my video about how to study one of the most effective ways to study is not to cram but to look over what you're learning in very small increments throughout the year and I think that using something like Evernote being able to you know whenever you're bored just pull out your notes and read it from time to time every single day look at what you just read look at what you just had a uh, class on and just doing doing that throughout the year will make what you're learning so much deeper than just trying to cram it before a test. So I think that Evernote is an incredibly good device for just keeping all your notes together, whether you're on your phone, whether you're on your laptop, whether you're on a tablet, having them all together, being able to access them and make new notes um, on whatever device you are really helps you stay in touch with what you're learning. So my fifth and final app that I would recommend to all college students is Spotify. Now I think that Spotify is better than Pandora in almost every single way. So like Pandora, I can go radio mode, listen to let's say, let's say Kid Cudi Radio, and uh, if I like a song, it will, like Pandora, change my station. But it will actually make an entire playlist of every single song that I liked from radio. So I can access it later whether I'm on my phone or on my computer. I can also make um, my own playlist. So let's say I have uh, my jams, right? Which I can access anywhere. I can actually download entire playlists to my phone so I can access them um, offline. I can also search for songs. So let's say I like the uh, new Wale Bad uh, remix. I can listen to it right here and with one click it's on my phone. Uh, once again I can take this, I can star it, I can add it to a playlist and there we go. And finally the best part is that if I can go to my desktop mode I can actually link this to my Facebook and when I do that I can see what my friends are listening to. So this is a great way to get introduced to lots of new music by following what both your friends and even celebrities are listening to. So for free you get all the music searching capabilities and playlists on the desktop but on the uh, Android you only get uh, radio stations however if you pay $9.99 a month you get full music library and playlist and downloadability and radio and everything on your uh, Android and there's no ads. Um, however, there is news that um, Apple is developing their own iRadio and Google Play Store is also developing their uh, music radio, both of which also cost the same amount as Spotify. So it's going to have some tough competition coming up, but for right now, the best radio app of all time, music app in general, is Spotify. So there you go, my top five apps for college students. I've included all the Google Play Store links right below uh, if you want to download them. Once again, all five of them are free. And if you have an iPhone, all five are also free and downloadable on iOS. Um, you don't get the same widgets, um, obviously, because you're on iOS. However, you get the same functionality, the same ability to sync on all other platforms. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment and don't forget, subscribe to my channel. Alright, thanks.